Hello everyone, I Ishwar from Design World channel and today we are going to learn how we can do the assembly of pipe and tube in SOLIDWORKS software. So without any further delay, let us get started. So in my last video, I have already shown you guys how we can do the tubing and how we can create pipes on it. So in this video, we are going to assemble those pipes. So first, go for new. Here we need to select in the assembly workbench click ok to it and cancel this first so if you will select the assembly workbench in solidworks software you will get an interface like this so just go here insert components and insert components and this is our first part so let me open this here so this is our first pipe and to assemble more than one pipe so at the end of this we require some flanges to it so for that i have already made one flange for this pipe so let me open that one also so this is the flange now go to mat select the part and select your second part and uh, as you can see it's automatically taking the constraint to it so here we are getting a small menu bar so from here we can flip the direction of this part so once done just click ok to it now for applying some other constraint go to met and select this front face of this part and front surface of this tube yeah so that's it we have just now assembled this pipe with flange now again we will go for some other pipes so again go to insert components So I have already assembled the pipes with the flanges. So directly we go for mats here. So select this part and this is our will be second part. Once done just click OK to it. As you can see the second pipe which is moved further from this pipe so what we can do here is go to move component select the part and move it backward and again go for mat select the end faces of the flanges once done press ok to it now again we will go for our third pipe and i have already assembled this pipe with the flanges 
so we directly go for constraint over here same thing if you want to move this component go to move component and as you can see you can drag it where you want now we will going to select the end faces of these two flanges control F now again we will go for one more last pipe so this is a sub assembly of pipe so here what we are going to do is first we will try to rotate this sub assembly like this now move it so that it can automatically take constraint now go for met select this part and this part as you can see these two assembly get overlapped here so to move this go for move components and you can move it so for rotation we are not considering this one now now again go for met now go for met and select the end faces of the flanges of these two sub assemblies now go here if you want to apply some color to your assembly so this is how we can create 3d pipes on solidworks software also I have shown you how we can do the assembly of this by keeping some flanges on the pipe so thank you for watching this video guys if you really like this video then please give thumbs up to it and don't forget to subscribe my channel